Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to talk about GDPR and the headache it's causing for a lot of internet marketers or for a lot of genuine businesses that are trying to um, do right by their by their websites and their, where they're collecting information. Uh, and it's just a complete minefield when you get into it. The more I've browsed, um, the more I've browsed around websites, I've started to see certain consent forms that make sense and other ones that, that are semi-compliant and other companies that just don't bother. So what I've got is I run a, a teachable website. Now Teachable have said, oh, we're, we're GDBR compliant and all this sort of information. But when you look into it a bit more, they're not quite there yet. But what I do is I've got this pop-up uh, website, uses cookies, and you just click got it. It isn't compliant. I've gone to other websites, and now um, what you have to do is, is this is a, I think it was Slick Tide, or yeah, it says cookie consent there, but um, I think it's Slick Tide. I'll put a link to it. But this plugin doesn't stop the cookies running um before you accept them, so in in you in the EU, you need to accept the cookies before they run. This one just says they're running, and it's up to you basically to stick around or leave. Um, so when you click got it, you won't get the message for thirty days. Or you click more info, and it goes to the privacy, um, the privacy policy page. Now, Teachable have done this checkbox i agree to receive additional instructions promotionals so that's what they've added for gtpr gdpr um but there's nowhere within gd there's nowhere within teachable that i can see who's ticked or not ticked that i'm guessing that they just don't send they don't let me send emails to that person or i've got to do it through a third party plugin to work out who's clicked it or not and i've got to prove to gdpr who's clicked it so they're not fully compliant even though they're saying they've, they've kind of fudged it with a checkbox um you know and i don't in in my teaching i just let people sign up and do their um do their training within there i don't track it monitor it do anything uh, i have you know website analytics uh, but generally it's just so people can log in and, and track their stuff right I actually, when GDPR on May 25th came out, I had 500 students, and I had to. GDPR says you've got to re get, you've got to prove you've got re consent from those people on your newsletter, but there was no way in Teachable to send them a new thing saying, "Can you confirm that you're happy for me to uh, send you emails or not?" So I just deleted them. They're all free users. They could all sign up again. I just deleted it. It was giving me such a headache that I just deleted the website. I deleted the. Um, I deleted the. I, I just deleted it because I, I, you know, I, I offer free training. It was just way too much of a headache. Now, I'm going to talk you through a couple of places where I've seen where you can get um, compliant, compliant, uh, or what the looks compliant. I mean, they say they're compliant. Uh, plugins for this where yeah, I'll, I'll show you around a few sites and I'll show you what you really need to be looking for the one that I've noticed it works on is Trello so Trello is a big famous uh, project management site right and it comes up here we use cookies to personalize content and ads to provide social media features and to analyze our traffic all right cool when I click on cookie settings I can decide now they've got the they say they say here these cookies are necessary you know the site won't run without them so you've got to accept these but you can turn other ones off you can say i don't want you to do other things um on that site and save your settings and that accepts your cookies right so trello are trying uh let's have a look at another one there's asana uh introducing timeline so asana has no cookie banner let's go to famous websites amazon no no uh, cookie banner, no cookie consent, no information. You know you're being tracked the hell out of Amazon. You know, Amazon.co.uk. Sorry, I'll just show you that I did clear the history. Just so that the cookie would show if they had one. Nothing. eBay. Nothing. Facebook. 
Facebook have a uh, just a, the just the same as what my website would have. We use cookies, so basically you accept them or you don't. But they're not actually saying you can turn them off or edit them. They've got a policy that you can read if anybody ever reads that stuff. But you're just basically going to exit. That's like my website. You just click got it. Um, let's go to Google. We know we're being tracked out of the ying from Google, and they just have a privacy reminder. Again, they're not saying anything about cookies. Let's go YouTube. Again, it'll be because it's Google. It's just the privacy reminder, right? So what annoys me is I've spent hours and hours and hours trying to work out how to be compliant. I've deleted 500 students from my um, training course. I deleted my forum. Um, I d in fact, the forum's interesting. I, I've only just relaunched it, pullforum.com. Um, I have, I, and this is what I'm looking for today. I'm looking to put a cookie policy on this website to give people the information to say you can turn it off if you don't want it. I actually Googled, how do I turn cookies off on my website? You know, I, I don't even need cookies. If I, if I can run a website that doesn't need cookies, I just delete the damn things. Um, but what I did was I... That's a discourse forum. That's the, um, that's the platform that's run on. So I Googled discourse GDPR... Uh, compliance so yeah and, and one of the discourse empl employees puts here pardon my french but this law is horseshit major internet properties like amazon do not comply with it and that's what i've just proved to you that you go to amazon you go to ebay you go to google even facebook to an extent um and this is where i got this slick tie this is where you can make yeah this is that slick tie this is the actual banner that i'm using i think slick tide insights yeah so, I just sort of wanted to make a video that I don't, I, you know, I'm interested in what you think. I'm trying to comply. I'm a one-man band, a one-man army. I'm, you know, I'm working whatever it works out at on my internet stuff, 16, 17 hours a day. You know, whenever I'm not golfing, I'm working on my business. And I'm being, I've been put on a roadblock to not be able to put adverts up that are personalised ads without saying you've got personalised ads because you've been tracked by a Google as to where you've been before. And it's Google, it's Google that's tracking you, but Google don't have a cookie policy. Well, Google, Google aren't telling us directly what they're tracking. So, uh, you know, if you if you do do, if you, if you Google GDPR cookie consent, policy uh, plugin pop up so I've been looking now I've got to pay for something by the looks of it so if I go to um, cookie bot so cookie bot here I like this it pops up necessary uh, we use cookies to personalize necessarily preferences statistics marketing so you can turn on or off these ones right you can show the details and you click OK problem is that is eight pounds a month for uh, pages for less for a website with less than 500 pages now my front end training will have less than five and 500 my forum could eventually have over 5,000 pages I would expect it to have loads of topics in you know in a year's time so it's going to cost me 31 pound a month to to um, put a cookie banner up that nobody else is complying with uh, cookie bot. There was another one. Um, cookie script. These longs. This guy looks all right. This one looks all right. Um, pricing again, though. But it, you know, I don't know the exact. It doesn't show me the information anymore. It says agree or disagree. But it it does stop um, cookies running on your website before before you consent to them. So, but here it says it's free. Oh, brilliant, it's free. But then down here it says the HTTPS connection. So you've, you've got a padlock on your website. Or you've got a little green, you've got a green secure. It won't work. Now, 99% of companies <coughs> should have a secure website. So you would have to pay. So I'm going to have to pay 40 euros for that consent box. Uh, and I'm going to get, I'm going to get um, everything with that. But it just annoys me that I've got to pay. It annoys me that, that you know, Amazon aren't using it. eBay, not using it. Did I go to eBay? I think I did, don't know. 
You know, let's find a shopping. What's it, Zazzle? What's the top shopping channels in the world? Zazzle. Okay, nothing again. No, no content. Am I in the UK though? I went to Zazzle.com, didn't I? So fair enough, they may not. Nothing. Oh, you know, yeah, you're here. You know, these massive, massive companies don't don't comply. Um, like BBC probably do, but that's probably just a consent. Yeah, where you update and find out what's changed. But again, they haven't stopped the cookie working. They've just told me they've got a cookie. So, um. I don't think BBC I play a bit the same thing, won't it? So yeah, so it's it's if it's driving you crazy, it's driving me crazy. Uh, I'm a I'm a business that likes to comply. I like to to do what I have to do, but um, it's just an absolute head banger. It's an head banger on what what is right, what is wrong, what is what is what are we gonna do uh, when all these other, you know, Sky go to Sky. Let's go to Sky and see. Let's go to sky.com. Is it Sky? Let's see what Sky does. Sky. This website uses cookies, right? Uh, customer sign. Right now, just again, it's just a just letting you know we use them. So in that respect, my website. If I clear my history, as far as the BBC and Sky and Facebook, my website. Is doing is doing everything it needs to do by just saying this website uses cookies to ensure you get the best experience on our website, which is not well, which is true. But I'd rather it just like you know I, I don't want cookies. I don't you know I'm not even I'm not interested in what you where you're logging in from, how many times you've been. I want you to go through my training and do it. But I don't track what pay, what stage you're on or what you're doing or you know I don't want to retarget to something or other. But as far as I'm, so I, because I sort of, I'm an half geek, I, I understand some geek, I see when, when, you know, a company like Trello is doing it properly because they're showing you, this is what you're being tracked on, you can turn this one off. So it's frustrating because other people will say, well, you know, Teachable said, well, you need to go and get, um, uh, legal advice jesus christ like i've got a so so i've gone from having to research it for three or four or five hours pissing about this gdpr deleting 500 students deleting everything in my crm because i was i was taking the students and putting their information into a a crm but i wasn't using anything with it so i deleted both pages so nobody could say show us how to delete your information um and now i've got to take legal advice so, I don't know. I don't know where we stand with it. I don't know what your thoughts are on it. What you think we should do or shouldn't do. Um, the big boys aren't playing by it. The big boys aren't worrying about it. Uh, it pisses me off because you just want to be a compliant company. And you know that the dodgy companies out there will just take piss. And us us small fry, small companies just trying to make a buck, getting by... Um, we always we always get hung up or stuck or slowed down on this technical legal crap that um, that no one else seems to be playing ball with. So it's more of a rant than a video information. But let me know what you think. Let me know um, what you're doing to try and to try and comply. I mean, God knows what else people do. Well, luckily, I don't have people's information. I I, I, you know, I run free free courses, so I don't I don't take credit card information. Uh, and a free forum, and that you know, and then YouTube videos. That's all I do. So, but all these people that I work with, security companies, these people that have got addresses and you know all that sort of personal information, and oh man, have fun. See you soon, guys.